Well, uh, we're back. It's been a while, a really long time, um, partly due to uh, social distancing and whatnot, but uh, we got this new Mountain Dew. It's a Walmart exclusive. Um, here's a nice look at it. It looks like we actually have two different bottles. Yours looks like a little bit smaller than mine. Um, if I, just by looking at it, I got a 20 ounce one. Is that a little smaller? 16.9. Ooh, so, you know, that's kind of cool. I guess they come in different uh, bottle sizes. Yeah, this is a six pack. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. Um, I looked in that aisle, couldn't find anything. So I just went to the, you know, the little thing at the checkout aisles and mm -hmm. lucky enough found five of them, bought all of them. Wow. I wasn't sure if I was going to see it again. But um, yeah, so we're going to do a review. It's the Mountain Dew Frostbite. I've had a tough time finding out what the flavor is because I can't see. It doesn't mention it really on the bottle from what I've looked at. I don't know if, if you've seen it anywhere, but it just says like a naturally artificial flavored dew. It doesn't yeah. say like what the actual flavor like is. <laughs> it feels like it's going to be nice and cool and refreshing based yeah. off of the, the label art. The ice shark breaking through the ice, frostbite. Agreed. Agreed. It does look chilling and like looks like a nice drink to have during like the summer, <laughs> summer days. Day, yeah. Especially the past week where it's been like around 90 every day but um yeah we'll do the same thing we always do uh the look taste and smell so i'll start off with the look um we've kind of gotten into a little bit you know it looks kind of like a glacier you know uh that light blue color um i mean it looks darker in person than on the video but we'll go with what the video looks like um because that looks more refreshing um and then the shark you know looks pretty scary um a little bit worried that you know when i do open this that jaws might jump out of it but i'm hoping that's not the case um but i do like the color and i like the bottle um so i'm gonna go ahead you know give this like an 8.2 rating i i definitely like what's going on there nice i think i tend to agree with you i think it's a good looking bottle definitely really scary looking shark right there definitely worried as well that he's gonna pop out um and it's a pretty unique you know um design you know because a shark in the middle of like looks like santa's village or something like the north pole oh yeah that's very, a good point yeah very is he coming out of the water or is he coming out of the snow <laughs> i don't know might be a land shark we don't know but it's uh, a different review <laughs> that's a beer <laughs> it's a pretty cool pretty cool um label uh, i'm gonna have to give it and the drink looks good anything blue i always just think looks pretty good so i'm gonna give it a 8.8 .8. Nice. 8. all right i'll go in for the smell um always one of my favorites the sound there you go Smells like every, any dew that I can smell from like, you know, a distance away. They all kind of have that like same like gummy smell to me, but um, I'll get a little bit closer. I'm not smelling a ton here. Smelling like most dews to me, but not like a distinct really smell. Maybe like a like blue, sl blue slushy or like blue raspberry type of thing. Um, but not, not, not super heavy smell. So I'm going to do a little bit lower on the smell grade, 6.2. Nice. All right, here we go. Definitely getting something. Yeah, I couldn't really, it was tough for me to like, I couldn't really dissect it. it you know, it just kind of smells like, um, like you said, like, any other normal like other flavor do it kind of smells like the high voltage do to me yeah exactly so i don't know that smells pretty good i'd give that like a seven three nice all right we'll go in for the uh the taste what it do what it do it's time for another do review cheers cheers I just had a yogurt there. Pretty good. It's refreshing. It is. It's not like some of the other dews that I've tasted where like I feel like I'm gonna get like a stomach ache after having it. 
um, you know, after, yeah, <laughs> after a while, um, where it's just going to sit in my stomach and not be that good. But I think I'm going to go similar to what I said before. It kind of reminds me of like a blue slush. That's kind of like the taste I'm getting. And it's definitely a pretty good taste. Um, I think this would be something I'd get, you know, multiple times in the future. Um, let me give this like an 8.7. Uh, I like the taste a lot. I agree. Um, I think it does taste a lot like a blue raspberry-ish flavor. I think it kind of tastes like regular Mountain Dew mixed with like the high voltage Mountain Dew mixed with like blue raspberry. And it comes out to like a very cool, refreshing summer frostbite beverage that's just really gonna make you feel like you're in the subarctic on a nice hot summer day. And so I really like this. I am going to give it a 9-1. Nice. And actually, as you were just thinking about it, I'm just realizing that this might be the water in um, Waterboy that he gets to rejuvenate himself from the glacier from Alaska. It's from a glacier from Alaska. Because it looks that refreshing and it's like that color. So <laughs> yeah. it might actually be that. It's still cold. Who knows? But uh, <laughs> the good news is no sharks jumped out of the bottle and it tastes pretty good. So yeah. I think, think it was a successful review. Um, a nice socially distant review too. Yeah. Uh, so, well. I'd say it's a high quality H2O. 